If you struggled before to sculpt anatomy from scratch, or you just want to save time, I think the Anatomy Primitives brush kit might be something worth looking at. It provides a collection of ready-made anatomy blocks that you can use as starting pieces, so you're not stuck facing a blank digital canvas wondering how to begin, which is a good thing. So, it is introduced as a low-poly set covering all those key anatomy landmarks, which you would expect. Many of the major muscle groups and body parts are included as primitive shapes, like the chest, shoulder muscles, and so on and so forth, which is a huge help when blocking out a human or a creature figure. So what would you find inside the kit? Essentially, you would get a bunch of pre-made model anatomy primitives. Think of them as simplified building blocks for various parts. As you can see, the pieces are intentionally low poly, meaning they have just enough detail to capture the basic form of muscles in addition to limbs, without bogging you down with complexity. For example, there are primitives representing chest muscles, shoulder caps, upper and lower arms, legs, and other essential shapes. The kit even includes head start shapes, including some stylized female head primitives added in the update. And this will honestly help you jumpstart your character's anatomy. As you can see, each piece is designed with real anatomical landmarks in mind, which helps you maintain correct proportions and muscle placements right from the beginning. And the good thing, you can mix and match these parts to rough out an entire character quickly. So basically it is like having a set of anatomy Lego blocks. You can snap together a torso, arms, legs, etc. And you've got a solid base mesh in minutes instead of doing it in hours. Using the kit in ZBrush is really easy. The download files provide an insert multi-mesh brush file for ZBrush, which means all these anatomy parts are stored in one brush. You just select the brush, and then you can insert any of the primitive shapes onto the model with a click and a drag. This can be super handy for your workflow, because you don't have to leave ZBrush or import meshes one by one. It is all right there in the brush palette. For instance, if you need a shoulder muscle form, you can just insert the deltoid primitive right on your model exactly where you need it to be, then scale it, rotate it, and put it into place, and you will instantly get a shoulder volume that you can work with. Also, instead of sculpting the biceps from a sphere or carving out the shape, you can drop in a pre-made biceps and then just blend it or sculpt it on top of the model. The low poly nature of these meshes also means they are easy to move, sketch or tweak without weird distortions, and they won't overload your scene. If you think about it, it basically turns ZBrush into a kit bashing exercise, I mean for anatomy, which is both fun and efficient I would say. And Blender users haven't been left out either. The kit is fully compatible with Blender and integrates nicely into its workflow. The pack includes a blend file set up as an asset library, so all the anatomy primitives can be accessed from Blender's asset browser, just like any other asset. This means you can simply drag and drop a muscle or body part into the Blender scene, whatever you need it to be, which is honestly awesome for quickly assembling a base mesh. So this is a win-win for both Blender and ZBrush users. The kit also provides a standard FBX and OBJ files for each piece as a universal format. And there is a big bonus, because it ensures that you can use these primitives in virtually any 3D software that you like, whether it be Maya, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, and others. Another nice touch is that the package includes a few sample character blockouts, which were made using the kit. These are essentially pre-built character bases. You will actually find four of them that show you how the primitives can be assembled into a full figure. This can work as a helpful learning aid, in addition to being a head start. You can open up these example blackouts to study how different pieces were combined for a humanoid shape, or even use them as a starting point for your own sculpting projects. This is also a friendly way from the creator to say how it works all together. Along with that, there is a demo video available where George Jackie demonstrates how to use the IMM brush in ZBrush. It is a lengthy video, but it will show you the process in detail. So if you're interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.